What are you doing? Why you got your jeans on? Because I'm going to work this one. It's hot. I know it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Okay. So what are you doing? Come on, take some pictures. Okay, good. Yeah. That's wonderful. So. <laughs> All right, so this cross tie post has been here, which you can tell, and ain't nothing been messed with or anything. But that post has been here since probably late 2004 or early 2005 when I had cows. And I'm gonna take the new jawbone bucket from AMI, <laughs> and I'm gonna grab it and see if it'll pull it up, see if it'll grip it and pull it up. I have no idea if it will or not. We'll see. I have hand handling a good many logs with it and you see I've done wore all the paint off the sides there of it handling logs and y'all will see that later but uh and maybe in this video I don't know the names are still in the bucket though right there but uh that's what I'm about to do Anna Case out here she she takes a lot of pictures and and all so she's gonna take some pictures of this I'm gonna kind of rake some of this stuff back so here we go oh one other thing I, I've got hose protector. I am gonna put hose protector on this thing right here, on these hoses right here. I hadn't done it yet because I wanna kinda of see how everything's gonna lay and how everything's gonna do and get an idea of what I need to do if I'm gonna end up doing something a little bit different with these hoses or not. so this is beside my shop here now i had a cedar tree growing right here that i took out stump still there i just let it sit there for a year or so two years maybe we made the roots a rod on and i got another one little one over there and i'm just gonna bite this stuff here is what i'm gonna do and try to ease it up the only thing i just got to be really careful because i have a my sewer line it comes out of my shop it goes in my septic tank 
runs between my blade and my building right there. So I'm gonna be kind of gentle with this as I pull it here.
and then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna try to get all of that gathered up right there and try to get it in one bite and uh, the one big cedar stone is gonna probably gonna give me a little bit of trouble but we'll see how it works here and see if I can get it all you know kind of wadded up there Persistence pays off, yeah, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I got another post right there to snatch it up real quick too. so these are a couple logs I got laying over here that I've had I keep around I whittle on them and stuff with chainsaws so we'll mess with them a little bit with the uh, jawbone bucket
All right, so you can see it opens 180. I saw all the way open right there. I gotta ask about the weight of the bucket. The bucket weigh, that bucket right there weighs 500 pounds is what it weighs. I uh, was asked about rebuilding the helical actuator or, or could you fix it if it needed to be fixed or anything? The answer to that is yes, you can rebuild it and all that good stuff like that. You can take it apart with it on the machine just like it is right there it comes apart i gotta ask about greasing it see there's a grease zerk right there and there's a grease vent right there i've already greased it once i've done run it some i'm gonna go ahead and pump grease in it again you'll see it come out the vent right there see it right there okay let's go to the other side same way. The vents right there. See the grease coming out of it? Alright. And so the big question that I've had, I asked two or three different times, and I have not answered it and I hadn't said. It's what does that bucket cost? That bucket cost ten thousand dollars. Is what that bucket cost right there. I know probably a lot of y'all probably just freaked out when I said that, but you got to understand, me, I'm a one-man show, and there's often times on some of these jobs that I do, that where I'm in these yards and different, doing different things, I'll take my smooth cutting edge on and off my two-foot bucket like four or five times in a day. That gets old, I'm just gonna tell you, that gets old. And I don't like the thumb in the way. Now you're not gonna bite as much brush with this as you are with a bucket and a thumb. But you can still bite and move brush and all that stuff like that, just like with a bucket and a thumb. Like I said, it's not, you're not gonna bite as much, but for me, being a one man show, it's going to benefit me to be able to open that thing, have a smooth cutting edge right there, work it one stroke, and bam, shut it back down and have the teeth on the other end, or to be able to bite whatever I'm going to bite, T-posts, regular posts, uh, saplings that rip saplings up very well or anything like that. But I just, I like the, I like the way it's built. You don't have to worry about it. You can, you can grab whatever you want to grab with it and just take off with it, you know, but uh, you know you have to decide when you're doing stuff you have to decide what's going to work best for you and going to make you the most money and with me not having to get up and down off the machine and just swapping back and forth with you know going between the smooth cutting edge and the teeth that's going to be pretty pretty huge for me right there on that that is that uh boys and girls like I said earlier, I am going to put uh, some fire hose on the hydraulic hoses. I just want, I want to run it a little while. I want to see how the hoses react, what, what they done, and all that good stuff like that. And uh, before I made a move to do anything, and of course I hadn't hurt them or anything like that either uh, up to now.